Hey everybody, James here again. Welcome back to another Make a Model Monday. One of my coworkers was off on maternity leave and recently came back and she was checking out some of the 3D printed stuff I had in my office. We got to talking and she was telling me how both of her daughters are really into a bunny rabbit cartoon character called Miffy. Well, she asked if there was any way that I would be able to 3D print or something and wouldn't you know it, on Thingiverse they actually had several Miffy models to pick from. So I showed her what was available and I let her thumb through and she found one that she really liked. So I printed off one for each of her kids. This is one of those models. This is Miffy. It's a super cute, fairly easy print that I completed on the CR10 in about three hours per print. And the design's pretty cool because it's hollow. There's a hole cut in the bottom so you can sit it on a battery operated tea light and have it light up from the inside. These are the kind that are pretty prevalent around this time with it coming up to Halloween. You can get them at the dollar store, usually two for a buck. Light up, they flicker. You can sit it on there. And as you can see, there's a nice little pale flickering effect that goes really nice with it. Basically any type of light that'll fit in there that doesn't produce a lot of heat, this is gonna work really well with. Now, once I completed the two prints, I also wanted to see how difficult it would be to print this on the Cherry 3D printer, since that's something that I've been working to perfect. So I set off the first print, and I was using the red material I've been using with the Cherry printer all along. This was the result, and this was actually one of the prints that highlighted that I didn't have my Z-axis calibrated nearly as accurately as I thought I did. So it ended up being, oh, probably more than a centimeter taller, so... I just compared the measurements between the two and recalculated my z-axis uh, movement and I printed off this guy here. This guy is much closer to being accurate in terms of the actual overall size and it printed pretty decently. I mean we can't do a direct quality comparison between the Cherry 3D printer and the CR10. The CR10 is a printer that costs you know, upwards of five times the cost of the Cherry printer. But the Cherry printer completed it without too much struggle. Uh, both prints completed first shot, no problem. The uh, issues mostly stem to a little bit of stringing and some blobbing and stuff like that. That's all stuff that can be tuned up and made better. The holes on the bottom are nice and round now. The detail on the legs and on the face came through nice. Um, and, you know, any of the overhangs and stuff, there's a little bit of stringing on the inside, but overall it's pretty accurate. So... Even the one that was way too tall still completed nice and solid. You know, you can't push your fingers through it. It's a decent, solid print. Um, but once again, the CR10's print quality really just shines with this. Um, with the exception of the fact that you can see the seam along the edge here, which is really just a setting to change so that it randomizes where it starts each layer. There really isn't much to complain about on this. The uh, print completed again with no problems. The bottom's nice and gloss smooth. And you can't tell the difference between the two prints. That's, uh, you know, how accurate the printer is and how uh, consistent it is. So if you'd like to print your own copy of Miffy, I'm tossing it in the comments below. If you have something you want to see me print in a future Make a Model Monday, please let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you like this video, toss me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, the other button's there as well. And if you're new, subscribe and click the bell and you'll be notified whenever I put out new content. So... Until next time, I'm James, and stay creative.